What up, dogs? Welcome back to uh, Let's Play Europa Universalis 3. And as you can see, I'm joined by five other doofs and non doofs. Um, <laughs> in order hierarchy, uh, which you already know, say hello, please. I bring my money, bitch! Yeah, right, okay. Uh, Basileus. Yes, hello. Um, Aglo, aka Oliver. I don't give uh, a shit. I get a first name, that's pretty <laughs> fucking specialized. Um, yeah, Shin, which you may already know because he has a little community on YouTube. Hello, everyone! Woo! And, uh, Hillies, uh, which is Hayaki's Boo. friend. Boo. Hello, Pippa. <laughs> okay. So, um,. Long story short, Hayaki is playing Namoto, gonna form Japan. Uh, Bass is playing Poland. I don't Dude, know what the hell he's gonna see. do. People can see. People can see. Yeah. Okay. I'm... Actually, what can you form a playing as Corfu? I'll just Greece. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. I hope so. I mean, I haven't played Vanilla in a long time. Well, they so always die. <laughs> well, they always die. So I actually didn't don't know about them anything. I'll just be the great giant nation of Corfu, if not. Yeah. I'll form a liar in case you didn't know. Okay, so tell me, guys, when you're ready to unpause. Don't unpause. Ever. <laughs> okay. Don't you hate it when you get a mission to improve relations with the country and then immediately get a mission to attack it? Like, why? <laughs> Fucking six thousand rebels. Ready, guys. Mm. No, I'm I'm good to go. Uh, okay, hold on. just start hold on. slowly. Oh wait 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 wait. Okay, now I'm good to go. I had to break that alliance with uh, Eng with England because I had no interest in keeping that. Uh, right. Well, yeah, that's an interesting mission. Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Conquer Tangiers. Oh. I see. Yeah. Yeah. Watching the chill. Oh, but they don't give me a core. Like I hate missions like that. <laughs> like yeah, go through all this trouble fighting this really hard opponent. By the way, no core. Lolly lolly lolly. Yeah, but <laughs> don't worry, my friend. You'll get a, you'll get a province in North Africa, and you'll get a holy war and do crazy stuff and have fun, right? Yeah, but North Africa. Like, look. What I mean, else don't do you me want? Fun. You're fucking Portugal. You're not gonna have any action until 1450 or so. Hey, the Portuguese always get the action. Giggity, giggity, giggity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, no, I would prefer not to, because it's just going to be a headache, right? Like, you take one province in Africa, and then you, especially in early game, you have to fight everyone who's a superior tech group, and I'm Portugal, so it's not exact. It's not like I have this giant army that I can go invading with. It's just a nightmare. Uh, I would prefer I not do, to do but... that. Well, it's useful just because you can quickly change your uh, national focus and hope for those events. That's what yeah. I do. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I get what you're saying. I, I just, the whole Northern Africa thing, early game, is not my idea of a good time. <laughs> okay, just leave it I'd all. Rather... Uh, don't be surprised when Castile is going to be like, oh, hi. I can has that. I love this Japanese promise, bitch. You. Castile will do that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yep. For me, that's par for the course. I like how I can turn my provinces tab on on the top right because I only got one. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I'm cool. <laughs> Go for is so fucking OP. Um, go speed three. I forgot. Sorry. Can you just die? Mm, nope. Oh, 
Oh wow, Malacca is actually for once kicking Red Fire's ass. Which is something you don't see quite that often. <laughs> Not even human Malacca can do it. Most of the time. Uh, what happens if I break vassalization in vanilla? I don't actually know. What you mean? Like, I'm a vassal of Venice, so when should I break it? You can only break it by war, or if they lose you in a peace deal. Yeah, and good luck with that. Okay. Well, I don't have an alliance with them anymore, so I can just wait for them to lose some wars, I guess. Yeah, maybe. Seems like a bit of a scam as a human player. I can just be like, yeah, I'm not so interested in those wars. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit these out. It's okay, they got Naxus. It's pretty overpowered. Okay, what's happening? Portugal, at war with Algiers, Morocco, and Granada. How's that going? It's fine, I guess. It's usual. Castile's rolling face, and I'm just watching them do it. <laughs> nice. Gonna get any provinces out of it? I don't plan on it. Not even your Tangiers? What did I just say? We had a discussion about this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't think that you would then just be going into a war. Oh, I guess neither of you are the leader, so yeah, you can't. That's lame. Well, for me, it was more about keeping preserving the alliance with Castile, because I have an alliance with Castile. Oh, that's right. So as long as I'm friends with them, I preserve that alliance, then I'll have at least some warning signs when they decide to annex me, or try to anyway. <laughs> Fair enough. I wonder how well that's, that friendship thing is going to go when Columbus comes by and it's like, oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> well, the key here is to beat them to it, right? Yeah, right, I guess. But, I mean... And Portugal yeah. has a nice little decision that actually makes that really possible. What's the decision? Uh, where was it? Hold on. Remember the navigator. Oh, yeah. Increased colonial range by 25%. Yeah, but, yeah but it's not really about colonial range because you're like close to America and all that. It's not really a problem. It's the fact, uh, it's the race to trade tech seven, really. Yeah, yeah, but that's not a problem either. Well, as long as you make yourself a trade empire of some sorts, which you the should way be able up to. the T. Ah, so beautiful. And really, even if you, like, beat them by 20 or even 30 years, you're not going to deny them America entirely. <coughs> well, from the way I play normally, is it's not about denying them completely. It's just about being big enough to be a problem to survive. That's the way I see it. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Well, in my in-depth strategy of this Corfu Let's Play, I've, uh, <laughs> it's all about staying alive indefinitely, because you pretty much fucking suck. <laughs> yeah, that's a good way to look at it, I guess. Yeah, when you're small, there's, like, not much you can do when you're small. When you're small, you, you, in the early game, you focus on not getting annexed, <laughs> then you also look for opportunities, and then when... When uh, when things start rolling your way, you get more provinces, you get a little <laughs> bigger, and then you get more ambitious. But until that happens, yeah, all you, you do is sit down no and regret you. you being so masochistic. <laughs> well, my hope is that a Venice doesn't lose real quick because then I could get annexed by Ottomans. But the thing about being a, a vassal of someone and then re refusing the alliance is that you can't get declared war on. Like I'm invincible, so. <sighs> I just get to sit here. <laughs> Invincible. Yeah. You may be the last one standing of us. <laughs> Actually, the, it's funny. It's kind of a double-edged sword in the HRE, right? When you're an OPM, you get the benefit of the emperor protecting you, but you get the 
But you get the negative of the Emperor always opposing you. <laughs> so it's such a pain in the ass to expand in the HRA, especially so guys, as an OPM. How goes your countries? Yeah. Well, I'm fighting a rebellion. I haven't really expanded at all. Um, Ayutthaya has taken some land that I wanted. So... Well, I'm gonna put Tyra in my personal union, then Fujiwara, and then Tachiban, then to wait 150 years, and then I'm gonna form Japan. Well, right now I think yeah, I'm gonna okay. claim the throne of Ata. So mm. that's cool. Cool beans. Um, right now I'm gonna go down to it and make myself a sandwich, because I've got literally nothing to do. So okay. I'll be back in two minutes. I hope I have some advisors to sell. Meh, not really. Oh, look! Well, well, well. Cast a spell here against Malacca. Hmm. <sighs> I just love personal unions, really. Sometimes it feel it feels like cheating, really, to be honest. It's like so easy. Ah, uh, I was too slow. Who did you get personal union with? Mm, I'm claiming the throne of Arthur. I need to build more oh, cards before I can invade the them, of... really. Okay. Brave. And this is multiplayer, so I can't see how many armies they have. Meh. Lame. Oh, perfect. So, who will be really good to help me westernize? Uh, that's a matter of um, the future, my friend. <laughs> the far-flung future. Ah. Shin! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, what's up? Will you help me westernize when you act if you survive? Sure. Thank you. Okay. May I please get the same treatment? <laughs> because, you know, it's a democracy and all that. It isn't. <laughs> of course not. Fuck you. Hmm, I may just grab something from Bohemia early on. Um, do that, sure. No, 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 because I'm at war with them, and plus I got Austria on my side. Yeah, so do it. It's not like I can stop you or anything, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Don't you guys say to when you negotiate for the court and okay, offer tribute, they won't accept. Concede defeat, they won't accept. What the hell do you want? I know. What's, What's your Well, they obviously call? want your land. That's. <laughs> I think that's the ongoing <laughs> theme there. Besides that. Uh, Bass. What's Bass? What's your war score? Uh, it was five early on. Now it's zero. For Lithuania. So what color is my lion, Vanilla? Uh, uh orange. Orange. Dark orange. And the flag is like in Texas or no? Uh, yeah. Pretty sure it's just like in Death and Taxes. So you got who in you know, your personal union? You're trying to get Aken, Ake in your personal union? Yep. Yeah, the war is going okay. I was gonna put Tyra on my personal union, but no, I had to go to the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> Tyra, you lucky bastard. <laughs> Nice pause. Warcraft Frozen Frog. Yay! Ate is attacking me. And I am defending in the fucking jungle. Oh, Bohemia is just getting destroyed, and I'm I really been destroyed. Bohemia? Yeah. How are they getting killed? Well, for for one thing, they left their whole capital undefended, so Austria just occupied that. I destroyed Basiles, half of their army. You had to say, dude, it's me. Okay, yeah. I would have understood. Yeah. Wait, Portugal, you were at war with the with Bohemia? Yeah. Well, I was anyway. Who called you to war? Yo, mom. Uh, I'm at war with Bohemia because I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to pull some some shenanigans on Genoa to see if I could vassalize them or take their land. Uh -oh. uh, why is Brittany invading your land? Because uh, they're dumb. Uh, Duh. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> Two plus two. Uh. Lang Shang. So, Tudor, you want to split up Asia? Um, no. <laughs> Of course I'll split up Asia. What are you even thinking of, you silly? <laughs> and bam, Bohemia doesn't have an army. Wow, interesting. On, I love it when you kill an army of a nation and they're still like, no, you have to pay me money. <laughs> <laughs> money, bitch, Fucking take Arte it or is leave annoying it. as hell. Who's annoying? Arte. I wish I could see it. Well, uh, Shin, by the way, Portugal is quite boring in the beginning. <laughs> Um, Shin, do you do you consider colonizing fun, or do you think more of it as being boring? I think colonizing is just a different method of play. It can be fun, I think. But so you have you, to. So you never did it. <laughs> uh, I do it on occasion. Every once in a while, I'll colonize. Of course. Uh, in my opinion, it is fun when you it when it becomes competitive with your European powers. Yeah, I eat no treaties, like. Making treaties and splitting up the new world is just the biggest fun killer ever invented. 
Welcome to multiplayer. <laughs> exactly. But you have no choice because Europe is so powerful, and a col as a colonizer, in terms of especially manpower, it's tough to to keep up. Unless you're England, you have to put up with what you get. <laughs> yeah. Why is this still at war with Moldavia? What? I'm occupying um, Schles and they don't have any armies, but hey, they want me to give them money. Yeah. Fuck them. Yeah, I sense of victory is surprising. I'm back. What's been I'm happening? Back. Wow. Well, oh, well, I'm slowly conquering Arce. I've got them pinned down. I mean, I have 6,000 guys, they have 6,000 guys. The only thing that they can do is attack me, but they would lose. So I have them pinned down and I'm, I'm getting 1,000 guys just moving in and taking their fortless provinces. Perfect. Exactly. Uh, what's been happening in Corfu the last two years? <laughs> oh, God. And <laughs> of silence. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, my tax uh, income went from 0.07 to 0.08. <gasps> Rejoice! <Yes. laughs> I know, that's pretty big. <laughs> wow, stupid Arce. Building navies instead of armies. Really? Um, Did you get a bonus when you were fighting in a forest? When you're defending, uh, I didn't, but maybe you do. I mean, I had like um, sixty-seven percent for us, and I didn't get anything. Um. Okay. Question for you guys: Enact settlement policy. The population plus ten percent. Is that on every province, or just the province you? The province just the province you enact doing. How is that ever useful? Well, it can change the culture of the province. It can lower the, the stability costs. It can lower stability costs in provinces by changing the culture. And the other nice little thing about it is, let's say you do it in Alexandria in Egypt. Over time, it'll actually spread to surrounding provinces, thus reducing uh, the stability costs of those provinces. Uh, I see. It's because I'm actually Italian culture, but I've got a Greek settlement. Well, so culture it, was, exactly. it would make it, it Italian. more than just reducing stability costs. I think it also affects gotcha. tax gotcha. and all that. Yeah, it affects a lot of things, but in essence, because they're not, it changes them to your culture, which gives all nice little bonuses. Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to be Italian anyway, so fuck that. Union with Arte. Rejoice. I am definitely going to be Greek. Ah. Yeah, uh, you. Accept this. You sure? Computer. Yep. Okay. Oh. I just gotta wait for Venice to get in an actual war. I allied you, but I still can't see you doing something. We're not allied anymore. Ah, possibly because you're a Sunni. Well, I'm at peace, dude. Well, I gave you an alliance, you accept it. Well, I'll soon be not at peace, so... Don't worry. You are at peace. I am. But uh, that will soon change. Because I'm attacking Malacca. So later, people, are we gonna go play Warcraft? 
Oh, definitely. Course. I've got my Boddington's Pub Ale. Hold on. Oh, that didn't that sound good? <laughs> <laughs> it and, sounded uh, like it hurt. Warcraft is definitely oh. in the night's mix. Oh. Malaka is guaranteed by Arte, and Arte is under me in a union. What the hell is gonna happen oh there? Oh my god, near the country bordering Ming, Shan has the Lithuanian color. What you mean, Lithuanian? Lithuanian flag, I mean. Yellow, green, red, and a shitty white thing that doesn't supposed to be there. <laughs> um, you mean like real life Lithuanian? I thought you would mean like in game. Yeah. Yeah. You should really change your flag in real life to the in-game flag. Fuck off. What? <laughs> I didn't hear the, that. The in-game flag's pretty badass. In in-game? Yeah, to go it's a white a real riding flag. a horse. It's a real flag. It is. That's that. You just said it isn't. Yeah, that's definitely not Lithuania's real flag. Sean's flag is Lithuanian's real flag. <laughs> Before our flag right now, that flag was our. Yeah, oh. that's my well. point. That's so. definitely a stretch of the definition of current, but. Whatever. It's not like anyone cares. Me. Oh, I've almost got full magistrates again. Wow. Good for you, my friend. What do you think the first advisor I recruit should be? State. <laughs> State. <laughs> Not a bad idea. Statesman, so you can get your first national idea. Oh, Venice. You want an alliance, do you? Decline! <laughs> Yeah, I can see the people going for I don't really want to mess with them right now. The point you lost two provinces to them. So, uh, has anyone grown? Nope. I took one province from both. Portugal's um, fucking around in I next Crimea. What are really you doing Crimea? over there? Not doing anything. Just, just doing like you some... said, fucking around. <laughs> yeah, just doing Lol. some casual warring in yeah. Kaffa. Shin must be really bored. Like, One thing. <laughs> really, really bored. <laughs> yeah, I'm only annexing, trying to annex provinces next to the Golden Horde because <laughs> I'm bored. <laughs> Well, if you're really told fucking you you're bored, not gonna you can have help any me get out of uh, Venice. That would be kind. Uh, Venice is uh, Venice is hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're okay to go solo versus Milan, Austria, Genoa, Sardinia, and Brittany, but Venice. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of those places don't have boats. They don't even know what water looks like. That's, That's why I'm fair. like comfortable. <laughs> Venice has a navy, and that's a whole other ball game. Yeah, but yeah, Venice's but navy is weak it. compared to Portugal's. You have carracks, they have galleys. I can tell you right when they go by, I got like prime vantage point. Oh, there's a child suffering. <laughs> that's not my <laughs> sister now. <laughs> 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 it's your sister in the dungeons, don't lie. <laughs> oh jeez, my sister entered the room. Hang on. Gonna... And I'm losing gold too, what is happening?
my trade income is so crap. I'm not even gonna send out my merchants. Wow. My it. sister just has a big old thing. upgrade to her skull. <laughs> what? Like, there's a thing. Um, Did you punch your sister? <laughs> what? <laughs> no, I mean. Is that what they call an upgrade? Bruises? No, it's not a bruise. It's I, I, like a thing I of. I nuts. gave my wife an upgrade or two. <laughs> <laughs> horrible, horrible. That is. Wow. It's a we thing. It's a. Um, you know when you hurt your head, like in the Tom and Jerry cartoons, there's uh, your head gets a thing and it gets bigger. I don't know how to explain this to you, and I'm gonna have to go Google Translate it, but whatever. I fail at English. Fuck me. Or just maybe it's not your first language? <laughs> exactly. I like when people are like, no, I lied. When they're simply just wrong. You ever notice that when someone gets something wrong, they're like, oh no, I lied, it was this. And it's yeah, like, you didn't lie, you were just yeah. mistaken. Anyway. That's right, AI. Keep sending me all these little fights so I can get like 50 war score just from whooping your ass constantly. <laughs> are you playing? Where are you guys playing? I'm Portugal by myself. I have a 31% war score against Milan, Austria, jo Genoa, Sardinia, and Brittany. Really? How do you have a war score? You only have two provinces, and they're both crap. I know. Just lots of ass whooping, I guess. They show up Genoa in Portugal. isn't even the war leader. What is this? What is this? Wait, 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 wait. Is that multiplayer? Yeah. 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 You have two provinces. What? Yep. How does he only provinces? Wait, who uh, called Liger, him to a... um, Well, whatever. Viewers, this is Liger. Liger, you are being recorded. Oh, He's a no. Swedish stalker. <laughs> no, I'm a Swedish guy who's awesome. Obviously. Except for all the stalking you do. What? What? Wait, you know I'm Castile, right? I can I can annihilate you, Venice. Do you want to be annihilated? Yes or no? Happily. Come at me, bro. <laughs> uh that's it's not even the right game. No no no, but you know, on the game I can actually annihilate you. I don't think so. Um, <laughs> uh, Oliver, is Liger going to be playing in the Minecraft game? Um, not as of, as of now with this attitude. <laughs> I wasn't even serious. You know that. <laughs> Wait, isn't Malik going to be the GM, or is that you? Um, um, I think I probably will be. Seeing yeah, as Malik all, let's make Oliver had such a fucking deal. fail he's today. He's a nice guy. Right? Right, Oliver? You're a nice guy. I'm a Malik, pretty nice uh, guy. Malik so is, what is way this worse than Oliver. At... So what is this Minecraft thing? Well, it's um, kind of a role-playing game. Yeah, I'm gonna do some role-playing Minecraft. Minecraft. Yeah, what is a Minecraft? That is a good question. <gasps> yeah, cause that's... What is the meaning of life? Um, um, you know, it's 46, I think. Was no, it? it's 42, my friend. Yeah, it's 42. Let me so, just eat this cheesy olivey cracker thing, and then I'll get back to you on what is Minecraft. Okay. So what are we playing in Minecraft? It's vanilla Minecraft, but don't worry. Let me finish I'm, my I'm cracker pro thing. I'm pro at vanilla Minecraft, guys. I'm trying to eat. Badass. Really? No, 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 I was just kidding. You know that, Oliver. I don't know. Um, I'm not really sure exactly what form it's going to take, but the general idea is we're going to make a black and great map, divide it up somehow, everyone's going to get a bunch of land, uh, and we're going to fucking fight over it, I guess. <laughs> wait, what? Oh. We're going to wait, 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 Minecraft PvP. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, yeah, what kind of roleplay kind of what what does the map look like? Is it a uh, map? It's, map? Not, made, it's not made yet. It's not it made yet. It exists in my mind. Okay, but what is it is it supposed yeah. to be? 
um, if you go to my DeviantArt, uh, aglo.deviantart.com, you can see... Or you could link it, because, um... Yeah, but I'm in the middle of a fucking multiplayer game, so you could just search it, because I gave you the URL. How do I... What? No, 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 no. No, no. Um, or you, you can check... down, and you can link it. Yes? No. No. Um... And we're gonna... Yeah, it's gonna be RPG, uh, role playing, some PvP, lots of building. It'll be fun times. Still Got dedicated you're gonna have a huge fight. Really? Really? Oh, yeah. So, does that mean you can steal and pillage and rape things? Of course. Wouldn't That's be nice. fun if you couldn't steal things. Ugh. I feel well, like I, I, I feel like that. someone's gonna use like map pack or something. Like, yeah, or, but basically. I mean it's a pretty small community. I I spend quite a bit of time just staring at computer screens, so I'll be I'll be there to boot people when the timer needs, or when the need arises. It's not a saying when the time needs. It really feels like um, it's just there, extra. <laughs> did you did you by any chance find yourself dead when you came back last night? What you mean? In Minecraft. Uh, last night. Yeah, when we were trying to find the remote island. And you are, and what is the um, IP of this server? Why should we? Don't tell give you? it now. It's gonna be a YouTube. Uh... Um. Well, it's whitelisted, but it's a YouTube don't... video. Don't don't. Yeah, if it's whitelisted, it doesn't matter. Um, but I don't know it off my head anyway, so I can't. Can you give, give me the deal. URL? URL. Of what? The URL of what? Of the thing you just said that I wouldn't go into. Oh, you mean the map or the server? Just anything. You guys you have a found URL the perfect anything. moment for such discussions. Oh, I know. Um, okay, you want a URL. Uh, there's yahoo.com, there's google.com, what else? Uh, <sighs> Cosmopolitan.net. Maybe sure. you should give me the actual thing I should search. <laughs> Cosmopolitan. <laughs> like just fucking well, search for you what? Know you us, right? what you In between you three games, we all go to Cosmo. <laughs> Sorry, I can't. Okay, so what? What should I search again? What? Well, what are you looking for? I still don't know what you're looking for the yet. The thing you fucking said that I wouldn't go into because you're like, eh, I'm in a game, I can't tap down. Eh. Oh, you mean my deviant art? Yeah. A A G L O. A-G-L-O Oh my god, kill me. Dot D-E-V I-A-N T A-R-T Dot C-O-M Slash kill me now. Great. I googled it. There was nothing there. Business war. Oh, come on. Why did I get business <laughs> The page you were looking for does not <laughs> exist. But I did nothing wrong, why did I- <laughs> <laughs> Hahaha shouldn't oh, exist No, it doesn't liar. So You're sad. lying, Don't... you're a liar How does yeah. Peasants War end? I, have... I haven't gotten it really actually Who got the Peasants War? I didn't even see it I did, I did, but how does it end? Um, you kill all your peasants, I guess is one way <laughs> <laughs> Not too sure what the other options. I would just ask Shin. Shin, how do you? How does the business war end? I'm sorry. What was that? How does the business war end? Uh, I don't know. I've never had one. <laughs> it, just wait for it. It'll, hours I'm pretty sure it will eventually end. Never had end. a peasant war, really. Dude, I, bass, I, I think it just it ends all... after a few years. Don't worry. The only thing I've had that was really nasty was Time of Troubles. Really? That's I, it? Uh, you never went I, over I, the infamy I, limit? I, I rarely, once, very rarely go Burgundy, over. And that was not very fun. That was when I was bad at the game. A lot worse, I mean. I hate going I hate going over the infamy limit because I hate rebels. No, but it's the so bullseye. ridiculous because you get you get like seriously. It's like, oh I get a rebellion, I kill it, oh another one, oh another one, oh there's another one. Yeah, yeah well, like it's like a not fun mechanic. It's just simply not fun. Yeah, you just spend the, the whole only time way you can avoid it like, is either it's you. It's the same thing when you know with the Jax Revolter thing. That's really stupid. Yeah, it's like oh, I have a few revolts now. There's gonna be even more. Like what? 
I want to say though, like I don't. I think the 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 right idea is there that there should be something negative that happens when you go too far. I just don't like like the the solution was oh just more stuff to kill. Like oh. that's. I do like that you get cost or uh, people get cost spelly against you. That yeah, that see now that I like. Yeah. Yeah. And it's a really good one too. It's like it should one be something more because you shouldn't be able to go over without getting very punished. Like, it needs to be really bad. Because infamy otherwise, limit probably shouldn't exist anyway. Infamy is a bit of a weird system. No, no, because otherwise people. Just no, infamy makes bad. sense. I think maybe the way it's applied might be strange, but it makes sense. I, it's doing it does so make much sense. bad. It does, because if you do so much bad shit, eventually people are going to be like, hey, yeah. you're an asshole. And but I think that just it something should. It's a little like a uh, umbrella. It's an umbrella term, because it's like uh, if you're Naples and you're expanding through Italy, everyone in Italy is going to be real pissed off, but someone in the fucking Balkans isn't going to be all up in arms about you taking a bunch of Italian lands. Yeah, it, it, what it should, though, it should do, though, is it should reflect more your diplomatic relationships and how you treat them. Like, if, if your allies call you to war and you never go, there should be a, a measure of that. Because that means yeah, exactly. you're untrustworthy. That, that I think, there should be a measure of. Well, there is trust in this game. Like, if you click on someone, there says... You have a respectful reputation. They trust us to uphold our bargains. But I don't know if it's actually factored no, in. No, I don't I think that has anything to do with what they... Really. I know it's and, there, but I don't think it actually does anything. No, I... Yeah. It's just... They're kind of a... Guideline thing. Die, pig. What? Did you just say something about a pig and disease? Man, Venice got an, got Men Montenegro as their vassal. Shit. And Naples got a bunch of or a bunch one but province. The thing is, though, um, I gotta say though, if you're Naples and taking a bunch of land in Italy, you won't really cross the limit unless you actually get all of Italy in like one war. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, AKA players. Milan on the Friday night games. <laughs> mm. uh, oh yeah, that's Bosnia. right. He took like half. He took like everything except Naples, wasn't it? Oh yeah, he took quite a bit in one war. Maybe I'm not sure if he took uh, the Papal States too. I don't think he did. He did. Yep, he got it all. I I think I wrote yeah from the HRD two of them. <clears throat> Can we keep on talking? I'm really bored. Please. Please. No one invited you here. Why did you come? Yes. <sighs> Ernest asks, added Blue Tiger to the conversation. And then he added Cloud Boy, Shin, Bass, Oliver, oh. Malik. Okay. So I was added before other people here. Excuse me. <laughs> Hi, Aki. Why did you do that? Because <laughs> he loves me? He called me first, by the way. I think. No, he, he actually... The conversation started between me and him. No, no, but okay. But how, when, when did he call you? Can you um, tap down and look at the time? If you can. No, I cannot, my friend. Oh. Not possible. I, I think he called me before he called you. Because he called me, uh, he called me in a private call, and I didn't answer because I was on busy. How are these conversations always so relevant? No idea. Are you oh, being I, sarcastic? I keep losing merchants in Venice. Come on, I just want to make some money. <sighs> Said the same thing when I was in Georgia. It was really boring because it's like when I expanded a little bit, there's like golden horde, fuck you, and Persia's like fuck you. <clears throat> wow, Georgia does not exist in this game anymore. That is surprising. Quick. Whoa! <laughs> well, it's only been six years. Damn. I was playing Death and Taxes, to be fair. But if I wasn't, then Golden Horde or the Timurids would eat me anyway, so it didn't matter. <clears throat> I want a mountain mod, something that adds a bunch of impassable terrain. That's one well, thing I wish was getting bad. Does that a yeah. bit, but not enough. I mean, the Alps are still fully fluid. 
Well, there Holy are roads. Holy fucking sh yeah. There are roads. It's not like Switzerland was a big fort where nobody could get in. Yeah, but then why in Death and Taxes are the uh, the Pyrenees a wall? There's only one one way around on each side. Well, I totally won that or... war. That was great. I, I don't know where that area is, but... That's Where between France and Spain. Okay, so let me see. I vassalized Brittany. I defeated Milan and had them give up uh, two provinces, release Pisa and oh, yeah. Siena. And I took two provinces from Genoa. So you want to help me with Venice now? Um, actually, no, I just got called to arms from Spain and I got to fight some Arabs. Okay, oh, you so do. Wait, I guess, I guess <laughs> Spain helped you that whole time? No, that was, no I was no, alone on that war. He was flying but, solo. Wait. I was completely really? alone in that war. How the fuck do you win? What? Because I'm Shin. Welcome to my world. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> that was really bad. You're like Shinri. Shinri for two. I'm like, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome um, to my world. The impossible becomes possible. <laughs> actually, a Portuguese friend, you should help me with Naples because then you can get uh, Provence. <sighs> no, I don't, maybe. I don't see what is Portugal trying to actually do. What does he have? Only have two provinces? I'm, and... I'm colonizing. <laughs> no, but is there a Spanish player? Yes or no? No. no? no. Okay, so why do you only have two provinces? Because Granada is massive, man. This thing's got like from Morocco to, to France. Serious? Of, Wait, what? Yeah, man, getting out of control. Nothing we can do to stop them. Are you serious, or are you just? sarcastic no serious business but how does how does spain exist if he's from morocco to granada who said spain existed he said yeah. uh, spain called me to arms well i meant yeah, it's like yeah that's what i meant because they always end up being spain not really well usually when i played it's castile that becomes spain not aragon yeah, well, I've very rarely seen Aragon become Spain. No, no, it's very rare. rare. I don't really I see Spain. people I, become I see Spain. Some, I, I see quite a lot when France takes over Spain. The um, most common formations I've seen are the UK and Spain. Then on occasion yep. it's Scandinavia. Russia's one of the rarest, I think. I've really, never I seen Sardinia, Russia a lot. Piedmont. Yeah, uh, the I, rarest, I, I, I think. I, I think Italy or Germany is even rarer. So. Yeah, those two are rare as well. Germany, yeah. Germany is the and Germany is just never. Romania is very rare. Ireland I've is rare. Seen, I've actually seen Ireland the HRE like form before not, Germany. Yeah, no, that happens a lot. It's actually way easier to form HRE. Yeah. Uh, there's a really cool turbo uh, forming strategy. You basically just uh, become orthodox as Bohemia. Uh, doesn't matter what how you just declare war on Wallachia, say without a cost's belly, and you become orthodox, and then you force relig religion on everyone in the HRE, and for each uh, nation you get ten authority points stuff. Oh, for force what? Force oh. religion, cause oh okay. Can't be bothered. <laughs> I haven't even played a lot in Europe, as in in the normal games. I've only played uh, like Sweden and what else? I'm not even sure if I played anything else that, <laughs> like, for a long game, for like 1500 or at least. How do I close the cheat console? How the fuck did that even open? Oh, I got it. Never mind. Tilled. Um, I need some hints. I have. Zero merchants out because I can't afford them. I'm taking loans and I'm minting half. What the fuck's happening? Who, wait, who's this? What nation are you playing? Corfu. How oh. many troops are you fielding? Zero. What's your navy? Zero. <laughs> wait, you lose money by existing? I'm losing money by existing. I'm looking at my, uh, my my money tab it's not making sense um, oh, actually you lose some money by being a vassal of venice you pay tribute to oh them. yeah no, but you, you only pay 50% percent, yeah or well of your tax yeah like okay. i'm i'm losing negative 2 if i go to 
if I stop minting altogether. Well, if you're a vassal in general, then you should just lose money if if you do as core food, because it shouldn't make a difference. It's just kind of percentually of your income. Yeah, I know. I thought it was percentage based. Like it should. No, that's that's fifty percent of your tax income. Oh my god! Yeah, and tax income's all my income because yeah, I don't have any really, fucking trade. Really, that's um. One thing, one weird thing is that it doesn't show anywhere. Like, if you hover your um, your mouse over your budget, you can't see it. Uh, not in the budget thing. Yeah, it's it a just pain. is. I think um, there's okay. some way to see how much you're paying, but I can't remember how exactly. No, but Portugal, I'm I'm coming and joining you and your center of trade because Venice is hating on me. They Wait, are you still my core of bitches out? Yep. Oh my god, good luck. Are you only playing OPMs or something? What the fuck? No, I'm Brunei, for example. Oh. And Portugal's definitely not a OPM, so... D were you in from the beginning of the game? Yep. Tutor? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you insta-war anyone, like Makas or Majapi? Um, I PU'd Atta, and um, Malaka mostly got owned by Ayataya. I, oh, you, you I, should have insta word someone as well, because then you'll get the early territory. Yeah, or I vassals. know, but I or tried vassals. it with Malaka and it didn't go quite well. I mean, if you look at the recording Malacca's which you just messed him. up, then you will see exactly yeah, how you it know went. Brunei. Brunei's like um, a lot. Uh, they have the best navy in like almost all of Asia in the beginning. Yeah, they rule Indonesia pretty much navally. Yeah, and that's why they're the easier. If if the they easiest. last, like with their territory, they they have like nineteen characters or something. Sometimes it's kind of ridiculous. Yay, royal marriage from the Mamluks, which I never heard of, but yay. I thought I should totally <laughs> try to play Hungary. I've never tried that, and it seems interesting. It does, huh? Mm. Or Aust hmm. Nah, not Austria. That's too boring. I have a vassal, it's Hungary. Hmm. Maybe I should start a new game. Maybe. Maybe. It says I'm making nine gold annually, but it said that for the last seven years, and I'm still at zero. So that is not accurate. My inflation is 1.1, though, so it could be worse. Is Hungary strong of navy? A nation? Uh, navy. Uh, no, of nation. Hungary's navy sucks. No, no, no. Nation. Of a na Yeehaw. Nation. Regency Council. No Hungary legal air. is not as strong as it was historically. I think that's the vibe I get with Hungary. Um, how come Poland has 15k at start? And I have three. That makes three very what? little sense. Poland has 15k, I have three. Oh, army? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Oh, oh, because Poland has personal union with Lithuania, doesn't it? So that gives it a pretty massive boost. Oh yeah, I got a loan coming due in two years for five bucks. What are the chances I can pay it back? Mint, 100%. No, I'll probably just sit on the loan. You're gonna phone again? Or just... An, an uh, oh, phone? nice. Glorious donation of six dollars. Thank you, Portugal. My pleasure. Hmm. Was Hungary really that strong let's, ever? Let's just hope that I don't lose it all before the loan comes Is, through. Hungary's like, kind of like... Um, <laughs> Let me know when it comes like, before, I'll send really you another. They used to be strong, but now they're really weak. Hungary. Yeah, I got, I got two years, so I'll see if I can make some money. It takes money to make money, right? Yeah, that's what they say. Shit, I'm I'm wondering, should I send a merchant to Lisbon? Should I send a merchant? What's my technology? If I'm Hungary Oriental. Fuck. Well, fuck. The other problem with uh, Corfu is don't you make less money if your culture or your province isn't the, your primary culture? Because my primary culture is Italian, but my culture is fucking Greek. Isn't it? I think it depends on the revolver, isn't it? I'm not sure. 
I think it does. I could be wrong, but... Mm. Why does so many people want to ally me? Seriously. I've never been in such a huge nation as Hungary in the beginning. Are you playing vanilla or a mod? Yeah, vanilla. Oh. Wow. Savoy. Only small nations won't ally me. Oh, I should have insta allied someone, because that always works if you're a big nation. If I'm a. Oh, Castile wants to ally me? That's awesome. No, no, no. Granada. Really? Morocco protected Granada? Really? Oh, Crusade? Awesome. Loving this. Wait, are you going to record all this and yeah. put it all up? Fuck. Yeah. That's exactly what I thought when you came in. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. <laughs> no, fuck you, my friend. You're the one that cut in. Lovely, lovely. Exactly. <laughs> I think we should keep this up. Uh, I like how you who say needs to, Who needs to fight in the game when we can just yell fuck you across the Skype chat? Yeah. Could have invited me to the game, but no. Well, well you we came by you like. The call. <laughs> You know what? Let's just let's pause and take a second and get Liga in this game, shall we? Sure, I'm okay really? with that. Wait, what are we doing? That's awesome. We Is are rehosting for Liga. I, okay. I'm. Okay, Hayaki, awesome. are you okay with that? Hi, I love you, Hayaki. Okay. Is it vanilla? So, I don't know. I don't know if he's even here, and I'm pretty vanilla? sure that Bass is yes, gone. Yes, it's vanilla. Yes, vanilla. Um, yeah, Bass is AFK, I think, but... Okay, whenever they return, you'll be uh, okay. joining. Okay, I'll, I'll play in the space for now. Everyone, uh, everyone check their Warcraft 3 versions, too. We can, uh... <laughs> mm, yeah, not right now, my friend. Yeah, I got Warcraft 3. <laughs> you do, oh, huh? Hell yeah. Cool. Of course I do. Um, like wait, are we saving and quitting, or are we gonna keep playing? Seven. That's true. One of the best. We should do a, uh, a Let's really Play nice. of Sorry, some of the Sorry, I just gotta do this RPGs. real quick. Sorry about that. I want to get something before one of my AI, uh... <sighs> it's okay, just you don't have to excuse for pausing. At war with Tuscany it's and okay, Switzerland. Shane, we love you. What are you fucking around with over there? Just vassalized, uh, Tuscany. Excellent. Do you realize how strange it sounds when I can't see what's going on? It's like... Yeah, yeah. I vassalized Tuscany and Brittany right now. It's out of necessity because I'm paying the Golden Horde, so I need cash from other places. Uh, well, Florence is definitely the place to go. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. I, I grabbed them while I could, which is good news. Hang on. How the fuck did Ferrara get Sardinia? That doesn't seem to be very common. Sardinia is like the best area in the world, just saying. Or the best um, pr actual province. Wow. No, the like best the single game. province is Thrace. Probably, yeah. Fuck yes. Okay. I'm sorry. Except it is but grain. After. I mean, some are better than that. Okay. It's just Guys, you know, can you I... You know Sardinia? It has decent tax and has a huge production. Like, look at the copper. I think it's copper, right? Yeah, it's, it's copper. Kind of, yeah. Can I tell you a story? Um, no. No, okay. So Some basically, different. I I was at war with Aitaya, Champa, and Majapahit at the same time while I was occupying Arce again because they broke off from my union. So I finished the war with Arce, I got them back in my union. Uh, Aitaya just occupied Malacca and Johor, which I owned. And 
they demanded peace, they took Malacca, I accepted that. Then, I was gangbanged by Champa and Majapahi, they, were, they outnumbered me on sea and on uh, land, and um, I managed to outmaneuver uh, Majapahi, uh, kill the army, occupy back all the provinces that, I, that they took, and um, I conceded defeat, and then Champa was occupying like all of mainland Borneo, really, um, except maybe one province. And they had a huge army uh, that, I mean, uh, my army was technically huger than theirs. I was minting like crazy to keep up my army and keep uh, keep up the pace. And they just went around and slaughtered my army somehow in a like six thousand versus seven thousand oh, battle. I ended up outmaneuvering them too, even though they had uh, me um, outnumbered on sea. And I just used my boats and went around and reoccupied my capital and my economy stabilized a bit. And then I uh, took back my provinces um, while not defeating the army, uh, really, because I was outnumbered. But I just occupied back all my provinces and Arte was sieging one of theirs. And then I managed to concede defeat. And now I'm in a great, great. position. Great, good job. Want a medal? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but still, that was like one of the most intense uh, E3 moments I had in a long time. Like, what I'm wondering in general is how the fuck do you manage to not have a big navy as Brunei? Brunei. Well, I just oh, got beaten a few times by people what, like. What is your um, What is your support limit, by the way, right now? Uh, army or navy? Navy. Uh, seven. I mean, thirteen. Okay. Because also in um, land, you shouldn't really lose because when they, they don't have as many cogs, so they won't really land more troops than you should Not have. Not really being gangbanged by three nations at the same time while your army is on a different island isn't like the best position you could ever be in. If you know what I mean. Nope. Never been gangbanged. Sorry. Oh. Okay. Then you haven't lived. Follow. Baz. 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 Where are you? <laughs> well, there's no reason we can't stop without him. We just can't start without him. Shut up. Shut up. Don't lie. Don't lie to me. I'm really bored. Yeah. How dare you guys start without me? Should have waited. Of course. How can yeah. we start without the VIP? Yep. Like, I am the best Swedish guy you have in this community, by the way. Exactly. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> He's the am only I not? Swedish Prove guy me behind. wrong. Prove me wrong. How am I not the best Swedish guy in this? Community? I agree. You are the best Swedish guy. Are you satisfied of yourself? Yes. Good. I feel like a total boss. Then shut up. What? That wasn't very nice. <laughs> You're just I'm bragging, I and this annoys me. Man, Paradox really didn't try very hard when they made this game. I mean, there's no fucking Al Andalus cores in Spain or Granada cores. Like, they didn't look. They didn't even open a history book. Yeah, I guess. Well, like, in Sweden, it was kind of split up, too. Like, all, all the major nations kind of had to split up things inside of it. Really. Yeah, and, like, the French having cores on all their vassals. That's not very realistic. Not to mention all the annoying what mechanics. Should, what can we do about that now? Send in an angry email. I'm going to. I'm going to be like, yo, bitches. EU4. Better not suck. Word. Like it bows. But that's... I think it's too late. I know. I, I, really don't, I, I, I really don't like the look of the game. I really love the old EU3 style. It, I don't like how it looks more like um, Crusader Kings. That wasn't a lot. That wasn't a really good book, really. Really? No. Yeah, I like E3 looks. They're just... They're simple. And 
they're good in their simplicity, I would say. I don't know, I'm mixed. Uh, I actually really liked... Um, I actually like how it looks in um, Crusader Kings. I do not. Sir. It's I'm not just... saying you're wrong, I'm just saying it's a different preference. No, no, I'm not saying anything either. I'm just saying it's a different preference, whatever that means. <laughs> it means some people like... No, 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 like I don't that. want your explanation. I just agree with your fact that I totally don't even know what it is. I just think never mind. No 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 shh, shh, shh. <laughs> There should be laws against people agreeing with things they don't know about. There should be laws about people turning off their mic and turning on their mic all the time. Yeah, I know there's people in this room right now, so I'm trying to keep it quiet. Shh. We know you're out there. I should totally record stuff. <laughs> I make a blue ti I I'll ma I would make a blue liger funhouse like Kraken's funhouse. Be, it'd be so popular. Seriously, guys, like I'm so funny. <laughs> of course. So, uh, are you guys off to a great start? Well, is there any rules when you pick your nations, or is it kind of just no. like... Uh, no overpowered sons of bitches. Okay. So that... no Castile, France, England. I think, uh, was there one more Although, Austria? Somehow someone got Mamluks, which is a little... <laughs> Wait, seriously? <laughs> a little, really? uh, pushing the boundaries. Yeah, little... not to talk about Poland. <laughs> yeah, Poland's just, a little... That's rough, just silly. So. Um, okay, well, I just broke free of Venice, so high fives all around. Yay. Tells you. Yeah, he's gonna kill you. Just saying. <laughs> Maybe, but he's at war with the Ottomans. He's and like, you're Serbia cheating and on Bosnia, me, bitch slap. So <laughs> I think I'll be okay for now. Yeah. Let's get so some they're... alliances going. Hi, Mamluks, do you want an alliance? Let's hope so. No. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> oh. Okay, Portugal's Portugal's a baller. Oh, hey Portugal, what are you doing in Sicily? Helping Spain? Just, yeah, just casually kicking some ass. What are they trying to do in Sicily? Is it a personal union thing or? Uh, they declared war in Aragon, and Aragon had some allies. Oh yeah, I was, yep, they are. So, and I want to oh. preserve that friendship. It's the only alliance I'm really. Working hard to keep is the one with uh, Castile. That's interesting. Maybe I should join that war and try and annex those provinces. Good luck. Um, yeah, I don't have any money and I don't have any troops. That's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he's these grand plans for expansion. He's like, okay. man, are you ready? My, my no maximum man. manpower is a thousand, and I've got four gold with a rate of uh, two a year. So if the if you keep that war going for another 50 years, maybe I'll hop in there. Wow, my economy got so jacked up. I'm... I am have wow. no army and I'm barely gaining 0 0.6 ducats a year. Well, never mind. I just decreased the funding of my navy and now I'm making 6 ducats. Okay, well, Ottomans are kicking ass. Okay. Take it on know. Venice, Montenegro, Naxos, Switzerland, Achillea, Papal State, Naples, Burgundy, Holland, Provence, Austria, Milan, and winning. Nice one, Ottomans. I'm glad you're my neighbor. Okay, well, now that I'm free, at least I have opportunity. Ooh, and I get a slider change. Fuck yeah. Yeah. I have no idea where to put it, though.
Should I just keep pushing towards free trade, maybe? I don't know. Yeah, you should. As an OPM trade is the solution. Yeah, but man, like, I'm... You start pretty much 100%, whatchamacallit, uh... Mechantilist is Corfu. It's not ideal. Well, it's gonna be a slow process, but eventually it will pay off. Yeah, eventually I'm gonna be annexed by Ottomans, too, so... <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're not thinking about the future, then... <laughs> What is the point of this? If you're not planning to survive until later. Um, just spreading my seed around. Hopefully some of my babies will survive, <laughs> even if the homeland doesn't. Really? Really, yeah. Is that, a, is that the legacy you're aiming for? Yep. The kings of Corfu. We impregnated a lot of nobles. <laughs> giggity, giggity, go. <laughs> no. Well, who knows? Yeah, aim Maybe a little my, higher, brother. <laughs> my lineage could claim the Austrian or the Milan throne. Yeah, you'll uh, your dynasty will be the new Habsburgs. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> the, the OPM of Corfu happened to take over the world via strong sperm streams. What? We're just shooting, shooting our sperms up the Adriatic, you know. Yeah, of course. Squirt, squirt, Venice. Squirt, squirt. <laughs> oh, and I can do my cultural shift. Nice. So you're now not Greek? Now I'm talking. No, now I am Greek, because I started as fucking Italian. Yeah, that's Man, good nice. things are happening. Aren't you all jelly? Of course we're mad, because we are jelly. <laughs> Fuck, except now I've got a 2% revolt risk and I've got no troops. Oh, why didn't I think of this? Please don't let them revolt. Um, expand the bureaucracy. No, that is not happening right now. Okay, well, let's see if I can just randomly okay actually sicily why don't what you rejected our marriage proposal really sons of bitches tim reds die Okay, now everyone's rejecting our marriage proposals. I guess our sperm jokes turned everyone off. I don't want no more Corfu kids. Oh, I was really going into it. That's my only chance for success, too. It's okay, I'm happy to fail. <laughs> this game could be a loss. Maybe. Ah, stability here. My stability cost for some reason is so huge. Don't know why. Oh great, Majapa Heat is conquering Khmer. And uh, entire. Okay, I may have just made the stupidest move I could have done. I got myself a level five statesman, but then forgot oh, about the look, fact he's cost back. Me so much. Oh, okay. Weren't we gonna rehost because we were gonna bring in a new person? Uh, Liga, yeah, are you still there? Ass. Um, no, we're not sleeping. No, he's not here. 
Oh, okay. Okie dokie. That's not Rico's free. Shit. Poor guy. So, what's up? Two countries. Guys. Yes. So, what's up with your country? Good. Uh, rebels. I, I annexed a lot of nations. But my stability is plus three, so. Um, hey there, Portugal, bro. I think you can send me that, uh, that six gift so I can repay this loan. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. And you you may need to be my economy for a while, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, well, don't rely on me too much. I'm barely my own economy. Yeah, well, that, I, that uh, statesman you told me to get was not a good idea. Well, it's it's uh, a trade-off, right? It's uh, You trade paying him and putting yourself in the hole a bit for the ability to have an earlier national idea, yeah. which you do have, correct? Yeah. Not yet. Duh. How do you not have one yet? What do you mean? I've made zero money. I've, like, been making negative cash half this time, as you've heard. By I next year, I'm going to have mine. Yeah, and by next year, I'm not even, like, halfway there. <laughs> actually, let me see how far I actually am off. Um... Okay, now, I guess I'm, like... I'm like 85% of the way there, so it's pretty close, but still, sons of bitches, eh? Oh, stability, come on, let's go. Do I want plutocracy or aristocracy? Let's do a quick check. Hey guys, I have a question about the hordes. Uh, maybe maybe it's just something I've overlooked, but does it happen sometimes where they glitch out and they just don't attack you every five years? Yeah, I, um, I don't I know think... if it's a glitch though. But I've played entire yeah, games. That's what I'm thinking. Is it a you. glitch necessarily? I think I've it happens when you pay like, tribute uh, to them, but I don't I don't quite recall it happening any time any other way. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know about in vanilla, but I know in Death and Taxes I played a Trezabond game and they just never touched me. I just existed peacefully as a little... In Death and Taxes there are no hordes, my friend. <laughs> um, not Death and Taxes, M-E-I-O-U. Oh. Yeah, because this happens every once in a while. Like, it's been more than five years and I'm expecting the hordes to come after me. Nothing. Not? No, it's um, been almost seven you... years now. Are you paying? Guy, he's bored yeah, I'm to paying death. tribute. That would be why. I, I think they'll keep peaceful until they're fed up with. Well, at some point, I'll just wait till they collapse, and then I'll declare war. I'll take the negative two stab, but then I'll be able to start colonizing the hordes. Stab. Yeah. <laughs> I just DTM them. Um, but yeah, I don't know what it really is about. Oh yeah, plus three stability. That's what I like to see. Allied with Wallachia. Okay. I don't get it. My province is like twice as good as Rhodes, but my nation is twice as crap. Why is this game so mean to me? Maybe you did something wrong in a past life. I think so. I think what I did wrong was I chose a shitty ass nation, but in a past yeah. life. <laughs> yeah, in a past life and in this life. Oh yeah, I got a new king though, which is nice. Well, check your dynasty. <laughs> oh yeah, Habsburg. That's what I like to see. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, really, what's your dynasty? Habsburg. Really? Really, really. Well, so much for Kofu and Seed. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, hey, indeed. I think it's a sign of great things to come. Me too. We <laughs> to come, game. yeah, exactly. This is, well, this is how the Habsburgs got out. You just don't know about it. They colonized a little island of Corfu, and from there they took over the world. Exactly. <laughs> totally. Uh, this no. so happened. Right. <laughs> Hedge of the formats. Carlo von Habsburg. What is Vaughn? Like, European people, tell me what that means. What? What language is that? Yeah, Carlo von Habsburg. It's German, German my friend. I don't know why I always add my friend. <laughs> <laughs> it's a foreigner thing. It is. Because Westerners, we aren't friends with each other. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's more of a diplomatic thing. He's so used to only talking to people about EU3. It's like, we're friends, right? Yeah? Friendly relations? Mm. Don't backstab me? I don't think that's a solid argument, to be honest. <laughs> what do you think it is? A piece of... stuff. Which that's I think a much, I... solid much more solid argument. A piece of I... stuff. I just think it's a courtesy thing. Like, my friend seems like a good way of saying it. But, I don't know, like... In, in, in our, I'm Canadian, so in our culture, like... We don't say things like, my friend. Because not, not all people from the same country like each other. It's bizarre. It feels like people from... It's this strange experience I have. People from other places, it seems like they all get along, and where I'm from, no one gets along. It always feels like that for me. Dude, I just started saying my friend, like, this evening. I mean, I this conversation, really, is the point where I started saying my friend all the time. <laughs> and I have no idea why. Because I've heard it uh, more than once. It's, it's not a new thing. I hear exactly. it very often from folks who come from places... Not here. So. Really? Where in Canada are you from? Because it could be a Quebec. regional thing. See, I I am an Ontarian, and I think we all get along pretty darn well down here. Really? Even in know. Toronto? Hell yeah. <laughs> really? Because I get... See, uh, I have a lot of friends from Ontario as well. Uh, yeah, I get crossed in, on the subway... I go fucking talk to Rob Ford. I'm like, yo, bro, sup? Yeah, I, I don't know. I get mixed. I get mixed vibes in, in, in Toronto. But yeah, you, you're probably right. I mean, Quebec, it's a little more. The relationships here are a little more tenuous because you have the whole French, English, Anglophone, Francophone thing going on. Yeah. So yeah. Have I are ever you, mentioned uh, how much time? I love selling advisors? Selling advisors is nice. Um, are you a Laurentide? A what? From the Laurentians, or are you Montreal? Um, well, I was born in Montreal. I'm fr I live on the South Shore, so. Oh, fancy pants. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, my uh, my mom's half is French Canadian. My dad's half is American. So oh, excellent. I spend a bit of time each summer at the Laurentians, so it's very beautiful. I appreciate your province, and it's. Delicious, delicious insurance policy. I, I love I Quebec. There, <laughs> I love. I the politics here is annoying sometimes, but I just but love living here. It's it's easily my favorite for, place to be. For now, once the rest of Canada wises up on how much of a fucking scam artist you all are, I think it'll get a bit <laughs> shittier. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. Like it's it's so complex because like. There's a part of me that's like, oh, let Quebecers have their separation. If they think if they think it's going to be fine, then, you know, whatever. But then on the flip side, it's, it's it would be hell yeah. pure hell. Yeah, the second rest of Canada wises up and stops paying you guys to stay in the union, it's going to get a lot crappier there. But it's but not for as now. Bad. I don't know. I, I don't think it's as bad as conservatives make it out to be, though. Because I, I was looking at this is one of my nerdy things I do. I, I was looking at some of like 
in terms of um, the payments that go out to other provinces. And Quebec is not the highest. It's actually the east east provinces that get the most, like Nova Scotia. And yeah, I'm in like, actual Nova Scotia for school right now, and it's yeah. well, it is like if you're talking about places that are not friendly, the east coast is. Everyone's very friendly, but everyone's very downtrodden. It's uh, it's like an English fucking mining community in the forties. <laughs> like it's not, not so hot right now. Does anyone want someone excommunicated? I'm the papal controller. Uh, not me, please, not me. Not me. <laughs> oh, Venice, Venice would be a good one. Oh no, they're friendly with them. Oh, Venice. Or someone Naples play the Pope <laughs> and insult Venice. So anyway, yeah, like, I don't know, like, it's, it's, I don't know, they always, uh, Quebec gets uh, ripped on a lot in Western Canada, and I don't think it's all necessarily fair, um, and I don't think we're as bad as people make us out to be, uh, I don't know. I mean, I always find it's easy for Albertans to talk tough when they're just sitting on oil, that's the only reason they're doing well. Yeah, it's not even their own oil anymore. It's Chinese Canadian oil. Yeah, it would, it, that annoys me because Albertans always are like, "Oh, you know, Quebecers, you gotta, you know, tighten your purse strings." You know, they talk tough to us, and it's like, yeah, <laughs> I, if we found, oil, <laughs> if, we found oh, if we found oil in Quebec, we talk pretty tough too. You know, give me a well, break. Yeah, that you're just like wait till the fucking oil runs out, and you're gonna be glad we've got these fifty thousand hydroelectric dams. <laughs> Yeah, like, okay, I get it. We're not a, a have province. We're considered a have not, quote unquote. But, like, give me a break. You guys just you have oil. It's what it is. Yeah. No, the second the oil runs out, it's not going to be. That or, you know, the yeah. environment there is suffering quite a bit as well. I'm not saying they shouldn't exploit the oil. I think we should because we need the money. But quite I, a there bit's are, an understatement. <laughs> yeah, but but there, there there's a consequence to. Uh, the tar sands and the kind of damage it's doing to, to, to the environment over there. So I don't know. It's well, complex. Thankfully, yeah. thankfully, the tar sands happen to be in the shittiest part of Canada, so we can fuck <laughs> up that area a whole ton and then just get out of there and just be like, "That's a nuclear wasteland. Future uh, I, I, generations I, I, don't go near." I'm gonna be slightly more diplomatic and just say it's unfortunate that they're exploiting the tar sands, and I'll leave it at that. <laughs> Okay, well, no, from from my perspective, you've got Nova Scotia, New Brunswick, Quebec, Ontario, flyover, 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 BC. <laughs> so turn the flyover provinces into big nuclear wasteland, problem solved. And it'll happen, just a matter of time. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Quebec's just strange. <laughs> we go from like I remember in one election we went from like pure separatist, yeah, vive la revolution, blah 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 to <laughs> bam, <laughs> like we went like pure socialist and they're just like now nah, we're Marxists and it's like what's going on? <laughs> you people make up your minds? <laughs> It was it was crazy because typically politics uh, the changes are gradual. One you'll have a, like in the U.S. you have like swing states and things like that. But Quebec will literally it's 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 political <laughs> map. It'll be one color and then the next election the whole thing will switch to another color. Right. Well, and, I was there during the elections this summer, and how yeah. did that giant consortium of like I thought every single party that you guys had decided to join together and just become one. And I was like, who is someone else going to vote for if you don't want that one fucking. Oh. I, I this last election I didn't even vote to be, to be honest because I had three I had four choices I had the, the, here's my four choices the party that wanted separation now the party that wanted separation later <laughs> the one that wanted separation and then the corrupt liberal party that apparently brought on this election that was my choices and I was uh, like give me a break you know it's like be, the choice between shot in the head or shot in the heart like <laughs> yeah. That's what I like about uh, voting here in Toronto. You got three communist parties, two cannabis parties, then your gay rights party, and then, then your classic liberal conservatives. 
Yeah, I, 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 I would have. Romanian been... politics was fucked up. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> the problem here in Quebec is just we all have we all have parties based on, like a huge part of the landscape has parties that just want to separate from Canada, and it's just like, look, you, you can't talk about separation and then want handouts oh. from the rest of Canada. You, you do oh. one or the other. Uh, yeah. Bath Save. DC. Save and restart. Uh, re host. I don't know if Bass was even here. I don't think he said anything yet. Like, is he even back? Rage quit it. Uh, I don't know what we're doing. I'm happy to restart. Or Warcraft. <laughs> yeah, guys, I think we should really end this here because it's getting late and all that. Sure. Let's let's do some do some Warcrafting. Okay, so thank you everyone <laughs> for watching and also listening to some non eu oh, yeah. related stuff and <laughs> having patience to second, go through OG3. that. And hopefully next time things that are more interesting will happen to this shitty island that we're on. That's full of jungles and makes no... that has nice. no productivity at all really. So yeah, until then, um, I, I guess uh, have fun at the new year party or whatever and make sure to uh, stay tuned for the next episode of this let's, new Let's Play of EU3 with um, a lot of nice people I would say. So yes. um, <laughs> thank you for watching. <laughs>